The second type of energy transfer is called, or heat transfer, is called convection. And convection happens in liquids and in gases, where the particles are a bit freer to move and it's easier for the heat energy to get transferred. And it's based on a current that forms. So if we have a pot of hot water and we add a flame to it, we boil the jug and it has water in it. Remember water's particles are a bit further apart from a solid so they might look a bit like this. Now what's going to happen is the bottom particles will get hot and because they get hot they move faster, right? But because there's more room to move, they don't necessarily have to bump into each other, but because they have more room to move, they are moving up. So they become less dense, they become lighter, less dense, and because they are moving up into the, um, up in the container, put it there, because they're hot and they rise, what's happening is all these cold ones are dropping. So we have now this, the, the, hot, the hot particles have created a gap for these, the, the cold ones to fill. And then we've got our cold ones that will go into down and they'll sink to the bottom. And because they're at the bottom now, the flame heats up the bottom ones and they get, come back up. And then that top ones, because they've been at the top for a while, they might have gotten a bit colder, so they drop down again. And so on. So over time, we have this whole circulation of particles, hot particles going up and cold particles dropping. And the same goes for air, air particles. So we either have the liquid that goes up, hot water, hot water going up and cold water going down, or we have air, hot air going up and cold air going down. Okay. This is a, a good example if you look at your uh, heater just a normal oil oil heater and put your hand on top you can feel the breeze you can feel air moving up because hot air rises because it, it separates it gets less things and because it gets lighter it moves up and then because it moves up cold air is coming into its space and then uh, that heats up and that goes up so over time you'll have a whole room of air moving in a, in a, in a circular way Okay, and that is called convection. And convection happens in either solids, or in either liquids, and or either gases. Okay, so that is the second heat transfer.